how's your character creation going? Um, mine is, mine is um, not going as well as I would have liked or preferred, but at the same time, I need to remind myself that um, this isn't the end, of, the end of and be all of you know character creation. This is literally the first steps that I'm taking in making the characters come alive to me so that I can write them and express them. I need to get to know them first. Still, it's been like trying to like pull words out of my eyeballs. It's like, hmm, interesting. But I'm learning a lot about them and I'm... So what I'm doing is taking those 51 questions on the um, Nanogrismo Prep 101 page, right? So they have these 51 character questions that uh, I wrote down, these ones, and I've been using these 51 questions to begin to get them to know these characters of mine, at least the five main characters. There's um, also, you know, other methods, other questions, other um, conceptualization methods, that's a word. <laughs> That's a run, running sentence. Um, there are so many ways to get to know your characters before we start writing them and... Asking these questions and challenging myself to answer them for each and every character that's, you know, main character It's been... interesting. Like, I know there's a lot I still don't know about them. There's still a lot that I need to you know, decide and learn. But asking this question is actually bringing up a lot of ideas about the world that they live in. And, you know, the world building that I need to do in order for them to be real in the world that they exist in. So this is my workbook. Um, I have a thing for small black books. I'm not done with asking my characters, or asking these questions for my characters. I'm only, I only finished two characters and started on the third, but I'm still learning a lot. Like, also their relationships with one, one another is just... But as soon as I'm done asking myself these basic beginner questions about my characters, I will be starting um, conceptualizing the plot. I'm going to put that in this book as well, because I like to try my best to stay organized and keep things in one place, because I know how my brain is. If I write it down any old way, in any old paper, I'm going to end up with a mess. I'm going to be organized. I like organization, at least up to a point. So on the nano prep page, there you have um, quite a few plot suggest or you know suggest should suggestions on how to work with your plot. Um, um honestly I know that there are five and I should have written this down. I can't remember what three of them are called because they were the least interesting to me. The ones that I found the most interesting I obviously wrote down in my general working book. It, the ones that interest me the most were Cathy Tastic's 3 Act, 9 Block, 27 Chapter Outlining Method. Which really tickled my fancy. So basically, you have the classic 3 Act structure. Each act is separated into three blocks, so nine blocks in total, and each block is separated into three chapters. So you have a very nice firm grid to work with. And um, that tickles my face, that, that seems really really organized. I, um, I think I'm gonna try that one. The other method that I really like is called the plot dot. This one.
and I think the main reason why is because it builds very very heavily on the hero's journey um, by Joseph Campbell's The Hero's Journey. So I will admit that I have not read this book uh, completely. That is one of the things that, um, you know, it's, it's on the big pile of things to be read. But you know, this is one of these books that everyone keeps r referring to. Okay, I, I say everyone. A lot of people refer to. And um, so I keep seeing on online pretty much every, everywhere where there are writers talking about the craft of writing. I see it on Pinterest, Instagram, um, Tumblr posts, basically anywhere, Facebook. That people keep ref referring to the hero's journey. Ergo, I got the book some years ago and <laughs> still haven't read it. It is a bit, I don't know, something about it is that's challenging. Um, it might be the size of the letters. The uh, letters are, you know, typesetting is um, a bit, um, bit small. You cannot have tired eyes when you're trying to read this. This isn't something that you need to learn. It's maybe good to familiarize with. But I wouldn't say that you need to learn this. I want to because I'm curious and, uh, you know, I'm curious about what people, what people are talking about when they talk about here journey. I can comprehend it conceptual or, you know, in the context of, of what I've seen on the internet, but I would like to read for myself exactly what people are talking about. So. But yeah, because the um, plot that really, really, really references or draws heavily from the hero's journey, um, well, again, I don't need to read the hero's journey right now in order to use the plot. I am most interested, out of the five that the Nano Graph 101 page has, with the five plotting methods, I'm most interested in those two. I'm kind of telling that one is a circle that you can play around with and the other one is um, grit, basically. I do remember that they were also referencing um, Save the Cat. Which funny story, I did actually buy this one, Save the Cat, Rice Novel, but the other day. Another on my to be read pile. I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube um, using this book, referencing it and liking it. It's, apparently it's been helping a lot of people. It should be helpful. helpful. Um, ooh. Yeah, I, um, this might be... <laughs> it is piquing my interest, so... It's on my, on my to be read list. Oh yeah, um, when I'm done, because I need to do things in this kind of order, because that's the homework, um, I will be Finishing doing the base work on at least my five, five main characters and then writing a little bit about other characters like the person everything is basically about her phantom majesty like figure that person out <laughs> and a handful of other people who I know will be playing a part um, and then I should be ready to dive into the first draft, the first plotting, the first outlining of what the story is actually going to be about, what's going to happen. And that, that, that. I've, I feel like I'm playing a game. Like I am, I am so happy playing this game where I get to Dig into my own brain, take the story that I've been thinking about for nearly 20 years, giving myself the permission to play around with this world, create a world, create these characters, get to know them, find out what is happening, to write it down like this challenge in November to sit my ass down every day and write minimum like 
nearly 1700 words every day to get to a goal post and sharing it with other people it feels like I'm really hoping that this stays like this like this would make me so happy like I am so happy right now even when things aren't quite going at the pace that I would like it I'm still happy oh this was right now right now i might look at this back in the wimper going like well she was overly, overly optimistic but right now i am so happy that i took this challenge and posted on myself like but yeah um that is me rumbling this time so do please tell me are you as excited as i am about November because this I have fun because I'm having a lot of fun just doing this um like with the plot with the characters with imagining what's going to happen next what's the world what who are you where did you pop up from who are you it's just so yeah I can't wait for November I may sound like a lunatic right now. I'm probably, as I said, I'm probably gonna look back in November and go like, oh, nut job. But ha. anyway, so this has been me um, gushing about things this week. Oh. I'm playing a game. <laughs> so I will hopefully see you next time. Okay, take care and we'll see you later. Okay, bless bless. So I got this over my desk always to remind myself of, um, you know, like basics. <laughs>